hi all welcome back to the channel so in this video we'll be learning about how to maximize browser window or how to make the browser window in the full screen mode or how to launch the browser window in the full screen mode so we have already uh, learned about maximizing browser window or launching browser window in the full screen mode uh, but that was the part one video where I have discussed uh, using the viewport options. So if you go to the Chrome, so this is the video, uh, the number 27th number video. So in this video, actually, I have talked about uh, how to do the full screen or maximize browser. But in that we had some limitations like we cannot make the browser uh, window exact full screen so it was some issue there uh, even though we are able to do it um, somehow but it was not 100 percent proper so in this video i'll be discussing like how we can achieve the actual full screen mode uh, while using python and playwright okay so let's get started so here i am using the same code which I have discussed in my previous video, uh, which is like how to open a browser in non incognito mode. So if you have not watched that video already, uh, then I would uh, recommend you first you just watch that video, uh, then come back to this video because um, the prerequisites thing would be there, but I will still explain you something, uh, but not in depth. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I will be telling you, but if you want to watch that video, please feel free to do that and then come back to this video. It will be beneficial for you because this launch persistent context, what is this thing uh, that will be explained, that is explained in a broader way in that video. So without wasting time, let me explain first a little bit what we did it here. So basically, we just wanted to open our browser window in non incognito mode. By default, Playwright opens its browser in incognito mode, but uh, there is a way we can achieve uh, how we can open browser in, in uh, non incognito mode. So for that, what you have to do, you have to just first get the local app data path and then you have to join that path with your Chromium slash user data slash default. This should be same for your case as well. So just go to this path local app data. Okay and then just uh, paste this part or you can easily go go it it should be in the c underscore uh, your c drive within that there would be a folder called users then there would be a folder called your name or some, someone's name and then you have to find this local app data folder first there, there would be app data folder and then you will get the local okay so i'm not explaining that i mean uh, just telling you uh, okay next uh, you have to create one context using playwright.chromium.launch persistent context and you have to pass this user data path uh, whatever we have created here and here we are giving what what channel we are using like msh or chrome okay and then we are just simply launching the chrome google chrome that's it we have done okay so but here it is not opening in the uh, full screen mode it is just normal mode it is opening uh, the default viewport whatever set but now we will be making it in such a way some changes we will be doing here uh, we'll be passing some parameter using that it would make it uh, work in the full screen mode so let's see how we can do that so now click on this launch persistent context method just control and key click on it and then you will see here uh, there are also parameters available so you can see one parameter called arguments right we will be needing it and another parameter we will need it that is no viewport okay that you should we have to make it as true okay next if you come down and then you will see uh, this user data directory and here there is a args okay this args there is a link here it is saying the additional arguments to pass to the browser instance and uh, the list of chromium flags can be found here so as you are uh, doing it in the chromium browser so that for that uh, we have to use this link to see what kind of parameters it has so you can see there are lots of parameters we can pass here like allowed list extensions and i mean we are not going to learn all these things but uh, which we need it we'll be just searching it here so let's me search with full screen and uh, we get it here i think uh, just search yeah so you can see it will open if you just provide this flag called starts full screen then it will open the browser in the full screen mode and if you want to just maximize the browser then you have to use this uh, start maximize or uh, for incognito by default it would be incognito we already know that so we do not have to use it right so these two flag let's see and let's learn it and how to use it 
so let's go back to this uh, script and here what I will be doing I will be just passing after this headless equals to false so args args equals to uh, we have to mention this flag name right so starts full screen so just copy it now first let's do the maximized one and I'm just passing it here like this and one more flag we need to pass that is called no viewport and that should be uh, set as true right so let me run it so browser opens in non incognito so right now it should be launched in the AMS Edge browser and uh, it should be launched in maximize mode okay uh, it says it's expected array and got string so let me check uh, what uh, the problem it has so uh, arrays arguments oh, okay this is a list right so we have to uh, make it in list that's fine now let's run again yeah it launched you can see it launching in the full screen not full screen already maximize most right and uh, let me wait yeah so it closed the browser that's fine so you can see like it opened in the maximize mode now let me uh, check uh, whether we can uh, launch in uh, full screen mode as well so let me copy this flag and paste it here okay let's run again as you can see it's opened in the full screen mode right so we can also run on the chrome browser as well in the same way so let's run that in the chrome browser and full screen mode right so it open in the full screen mode and also similarly we can uh, run the uh, maximize plot as well so that's also let's see is maximized right let me run it maximized and let's run it so if you enjoyed this video please uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel and uh, also like the video it would motivate me to uh, do create more such content okay so we have uh, so we have seen like how to open the browsers in chrome and uh, edge browser P particularly it should be like in the chromium browser because we have passing the flags for chromium and and one more thing like if you are thinking like if it can we uh, can we do the same thing with here like uh, like this uh, I mean not page dot go to because it's uh, it's a page context it's directly treating the page fixture but let me show you one more thing here uh, so let's demo QA site and here like we have we have used this launch method right so in launch method can you pass the same thing see in the launch method if you go inside that you will not be able to see yeah, sorry you'd be able to see arugs but the problem would be uh, you will not be able to do it okay I tried it but it was not working because even uh, they uh, if you see here uh, the arugs method it's a bit different because it returned the browser instance right so uh, actually it doesn't work okay so uh, there is arugs and experimental so even though you can try it I mean like we can definitely try it here as well in the launch method but the problem would be it will not work like that so uh, let me take any other thing yeah you can you can do here because this is source demo website and uh, let me try it with uh, the args arguments and then we can pass the same one like full screen 
and put it in cold quote single quote or double quote anything is fine okay and but the problem would be here there is no such no viewport okay we will not be getting any no viewport options so that's the problem so even though if you try it now it will not work like right so uh, we just have to did the basics uh, no not this one basics and then source demo right see it didn't open in the uh, you can see it didn't open in uh, full screen or uh, full screen mode right because we have used given the full screen mode because the problem is that the no viewport options we have not disabled it so uh, I didn't find a way to do that, but definitely it is possible if you are using this uh, launch persistent context. So if you are, let's say, if you are using any framework, then you can uh, do it from the contest file. So in the contest file, you can uh, like here, uh, my contest, there should be a context called PyTest framework. So here is the contest. So here you can, what you can do, uh, you can instead of page, you can pass the playwrights, this one here, and then from there, we can create it. Okay, I will try to, we can show it, uh, but I have not prepared anything for that. So maybe in a different video, I can try if you request it. Uh, we can do it from the contest file as well. Okay, the same thing which we have done uh, here, right? So I hope you got it, got the idea how to do uh, the full screen or the maximize mode. And uh, okay, so see you, bye.